Hello and welcome to this presentation looking at the Human and Applied Physiology MSc programme at King's College London. My name is Dr James Clark. I am the programme lead and admissions tutor for this MSc programme. In this brief presentation I'll be covering aspects of our research, our taught material and the assessment of this popular MSc programme. Studying physiology is exciting and the study of human physiology is especially exciting since we are taking measurements and observations in human subjects. The experimental aspects of human physiology by their nature are very personal to us since we are all humans. We can study human physiology in a vast array of environments and under various stresses and this is what makes physiology an exciting and practical subject to study. But as well as that Human physiology is a very applied science. Certainly in order to understand health, the regulation of fitness in elite athletes and disease, you need a basic understanding of the mechanisms of human physiology. Once you've covered these, you can then look at ageing, development and the regulation of homeostasis in the human body. Of course, Life is not all about health and fitness. There are also other problems that are associated with our physiological systems. And in these studies, we can look at adaptation, recovery or regeneration from illness or disease. So physiology covers the basics of all of medicine. And we believe it's important that we study human physiology to understand the application of this science in medical care. The physiology department at King's consists of around 35 academics and is centred at the Guy's campus which is next to Guy's Hospital at King's College London. The Guy's Hospital is at London Bridge on the south bank of the River Thames in London. Human physiological sciences are taught within the Centre for Human and Applied Physiological Sciences which is based in Shepherd's House on the Guy's campus. In the recent Research Excellence Framework, 91% of researchers were considered world-leading or internationally excellent. And in the same Research Excellence Framework assessment, the centre itself was rated first in London and sixth in the UK for sports and exercise science research. Also recently, we were awarded an Athena Swan Silver Award for inclusivity. Within the Centre for Human and Applied Physiological Sciences, we have four primary research themes. These are muscle, form and function, which covers both skeletal and cardiac muscle across a wide range of development, ageing, disease and normal function. In addition, we have a respiratory physiology and medicine arm, in which we look at respiratory medicine at the clinical work face, as well as understanding basic mechanisms in a preclinical setting. Allied to these two are our aerospace physiological medicine arm and our movement, function and behaviour arm. These two research groupings use the muscle and respiratory physiological excellence within our institution to study aerospace physiology, space travel, environmental factors including thermoregulation and tolerance to g-forces as well as movement, function, pain and biomechanics. Linking these four systems together within our centre we can provide basic through translational and then applied physiological science research and education to both our staff, postgraduate students and research fellows. We have a wide and varied teaching team within the centre, with interests ranging across those four specialities. Each of our academics runs modules, delivers teaching and supervises both practical projects and research projects within the centre. So, to the MSc in Human Applied Physiology. This is a full-time programme lasting 12 months. We take 25 students a year on the programme, and applications are competitive. The programme itself provides a theoretical and practical basis for explaining the functioning of the musculoskeletal system, respiratory and cardiovascular systems across a wide range of conditions including normal health, ageing, elite fitness, disease 
and environmental stresses including altitude, aviation, aerospace and diving. The program was started in 1979 and has been in its current form since 2006. Consequently, there are many alumni to the program, some of whom are now leaders in their respective fields. And in fact, you may see some of these when you enroll on the program, since they still come to King's and give lectures on their expertise. We are fortunate that the program is supported by the Colt Foundation and the European Space Agency. The entry requirements for this program are that you hold or will hold an upper second class BSc that's a 2-1 or equivalent in a BSc in sports science, physiology or biomedical science or similar discipline. The program can be taken as an intercalated MSc for those already registered on an MBBS program, although there are some registration requirements that each applicant will need to look into. We ask you apply for this program through the King's Online Application Portal. You will need to provide us with your credentials, your academic portfolio consisting of a transcript, and also we will require a personal statement. In this personal statement, we would like you to explain to us your passion for physiology, your passion for physiological research, and a dedication to this discipline at a master's level. The MSc programme, as I said, is a one-year full-time programme. The taught element to the programme happens over two semesters, and then a summer 12-week research project occupies your summer. The two semesters run from September through to December, and January through to April. The research project starts in the beginning of June and runs until the end of August. The three compulsory core taught modules are cardiovascular and respiratory physiology, skeletal muscle function and plasticity, and human aerospace and environmental physiology, and they hold credits of 30, 30 and 45 respectively. These three taught components consist of lectures, seminars, workshops, tutorials, and of course practical sessions. For both cardiovascular and skeletal modules, you will attend a weekly practical. And for the Human Aerospace and Environmental Physiology module, we expand on these one-day practicals and run a series of three to four-day group projects. In terms of our research-based module, we have the Library Project, a 15-credit module in which you write an essay on a physiological topic of your choice, and the Research Project, the 60-credit module, in which you'll be working in the laboratory of an expert in a field of your choosing based on a list of research projects made available to you around October-November time. The number of projects we run each year depends on the number of students we have and is varied. However, you can see on the screen in front of you an example of some of the projects we've run over the last couple of years. You'll notice that these projects include cell work, so we cover cell physiology, molecular and biochemistry studies, all the way through to clinical trials. We have a number of industry and academic partners who offer us projects for our students, and some students go off campus to work on their research project but at all times you are overseen by a King's member of staff. Of course, part of your taught course involves assessment. We assess our three taught modules, the cardiovascular, muscle and environmental module, through a 10-minute oral presentation in the style of a physiological society talk, a 1,500-word laboratory report, and a three-hour written exam, in which we ask you to write essays on topics and do some data analysis and they constitute 20, 20 and 60% of the module credits. The library project is assessed through a poster presentation, again in the style of the Physiological Society presentations. We also assess a 3,000 word written essay. The research project is assessed through four modes. You are asked to write a prospective abstract, a 10,000 word dissertation, and then give at the end of the report an oral presentation summarising your findings. You will also be assessed on your laboratory aptitude by your primary supervisor. As well as teaching you a broad understanding of human physiological science and focused on environmental, cardiovascular and muscle physiology, 
will also teach you a wide range of transferable skills. In order to complete your library project and your dissertation, you will need to do a lot of data mining, using online journals and other sources of information to collate and summarise the knowledge. There is a great deal of laboratory work as part of this course. You'll undertake weekly practicals as well as group work in the second semester. We hope that during this programme you will learn a lot about different methodologies used in both research and industry to undertake physiological studies. In doing so, you'll also understand about experimental design, data collection and handling, statistical analysis, and of course then presentation of these data. In order to complete the program, you will generate effective writing skills and present many oral and poster presentations. And we hope this will equip you in the future to undertake similar studies in the workplace. Of course, part of this is working with your colleagues. Research is a very collaborative process and as part of this program you will pick up teamwork and time management skills in order to succeed in the workplace. Of course you probably want to know what happens to our graduates when they leave our program. By far the most common destination for our students graduating from the MSc in Human and Applied Physiology is to register for a PhD studentship. The core research methodologies we teach you as part of this program might help in securing yourself a studentship. Around 60% of our students go on to study for a PhD and this may range from cell biology through to whole body human sports physiology. A number of students enroll on the NHS scientific training program to go on to become clinical scientists in the NHS. Industry, research, medical school and military constitute some of our student destinations. Whilst, of course, no programme could be a feed for a medical school degree, the basic and applied physiological studies we carry out on this programme certainly help people understand the fundamentals of human biology and medicine and contribute towards their success in those disciplines. So to summarise, if you have a flair or an interest in human physiology, if you are passionate about understanding the way the human body responds to environmental stresses, ageing or disease, you will probably feel very comfortable on the Human and Applied Physiology MSc programme. If you wish to apply for this programme, we would welcome hearing from you. The link on the screen shows where you can find the information and application process. If you have any questions regarding this programme, the application process or any part of this programme, by all means, please contact me using the email address shown on the screen and in the link below. We look forward to hearing from you, and if you are a student with a passion for physiology, physiological sciences, or a thirst for physiology knowledge, we really do look forward to receiving your application. Thank you.